Hey guys, so excited to have you here with Gina Ballard today, who is a feng shui expert and a vib energy vibration alignment expert. She is amazing. I'm so excited to get some good information today on how we can align our home office and whole house to success. Thanks for being here, Gina. Yeah, thanks for having me. I love talking feng shui. I love Fridays. I do feng shui Friday every week and I just, I, I love it. And the changes that, that you can see even by just applying the smallest bits mm -hmm. are really, it's lovely. Like it's really huge. So even just by applying a few things today, you can really see a difference. Oh my gosh. And I am really excited about that because I think when we were talking last time, I told you my crystals were to the right of me and then I had, you were like, that's perfect. I'm like, oh, I just naturally did it. So those are some simple things that you can do. And I'm excited to hear more about what we can do to bring more of this alignment to success through changing our environment. Yes, absolutely. And I'm going to go, hi, Chris Mel. I'm going to go live in my group too. So that okay. we, you know, cause that way, cause we do this every week. Mm -hmm. Hi everyone. Okay. <laughs> so we're, we're like, if you're here watching in um, the frequency key, feel welcome to hop over to um, Shining Mentors and Successful Entrepreneurs, Melissa Zosky's page, because that's what we're going to be doing Q&A. Um, so yeah, let's just give a brief rundown of feng shui and what that means. I think yes. that's really helpful. Sounds great. So we'll start there. So feng shui translates to wind water. So just like the wind moves the water in our lives, that we have to consider that is what energy does and the object. So it's like feng shui is to the home what acupuncture is to the body. So how you have like needles that go into the body to move the chi and spark things. We can use remedies. We could use subtle energy. We can use um, objects. We can use things, items, color around us. Happy Friday, Pamela. <laughs> um, so that's sort of the, the idea and the concept. Now, I, my foundation comes from the cosmic trinity, which is heaven luck, which is that connection with spirit, human luck, which is the connection with the mind, and then you have earth luck, which is body and home. And so often, like how many times do you hear mind, body, spirit? Over and over. But we don't talk about the home enough. We really don't. We don't talk about feng shui enough in my book, I don't think. And that's really where I started. So each of those play 33.33% of the good life pie. So we have to really lean in. So can you have the same changes by, you know, working with your body than you would in the home? Sure. Like you can, you know, you're an expert block clear, you know, like we can, we can certainly work with different areas, but really we need to focus on all three areas of the good life pie. So feng shui addresses one area. So also don't think that you're like, oh, well, Gina said that I could just go do this and this is just going to magically appear because I'm not saying that either. Like, you know, you have to still address the mental, you have to connection, um, nurture the connection with spirit. And then of course, pay attention to your body. This is all about vibration. It's raising the frequency in all areas. So that's what I love about um, feng shui is that it's an area that is not tapped into a lot. I don't see, you know, we, we all declutter which tends to be the first step. And you all know how good decluttering feels. Like it feels so good to get rid of, but then that's just like one of very many steps to really implement and activate. So that's what we're going to lean into today. That sounds perfect. Because I was yeah. just, you know, you just described it in a way that makes me so excited because I do focus on the inner, the inner thinking, the inner thoughts, what's going on inside and the energy around but I never translated that as strongly as you just said to the things around me, but I felt that pulse. I'm so excited to, to like learn more so I can start get digging into this. Show us more, yeah. show us oh master. It's cool, right? And like keep in mind that everything has frequency, everything vibrates, everything. Yes. Your thoughts, your color, your couch, your, you know, so when we start to think of it that way, it's like, well, what is that resonating? So I just had a client last week and she really wanted to manifest relationship. And we go into her room and everything is like, you know, and we did it via Zoom. She has like a picture of a single lady. She has one nightstand. She has all this brown. And she, she, I'm like, what do you think this is saying to your subconscious? Like, what do you think? Remember, everything is frequency. What would, and this is, she's like an advanced client. Like we've been working together for a while and she's like, I'm finally ready to do this. Um, I'll finally listen. I want to pay attention. To the <laughs> so 
we kind of dove in there and she's like, oh, and I'm like, every morning you literally open your eyes and see this beautiful image, but of this like totally single woman. <laughs> it's like, you're on her own. So it really speaks to, um, it really speaks to that, you know, it really speaks to the, to the subconscious. So everything. So I'm just going to share my screen here really quick. Oh, so that, um, and if you're all watching here over here, hi y'all. But if you're watching there, you're not going to be able to see my screen share, but if you'd like to be more interactive, hop into Melissa's group. It's a really cool group. It's called shining mentors and successful entrepreneurs. Um, so this is the Bagua map and there's many different forms of feng shui. I chose to do BTB feng shui. Um, we don't have time to go into all of that today on the different forms, but all that means is I don't care if your house faces north, south, east, west. I don't even know the compass that well. I don't have to know the compass with this form of feng shui. We use this map. So it's funny, oftentimes people will say, well, this is North and this is something like, I don't know and I don't care. Like it does not God. matter to me. We can use this map. So your front door goes along this line and then you break up, you put this map over your whole entire home. So you place like a tic-tac-toe grid over your home. And each of these areas connect to a different area of your life. And then you also, you'll see like, there's wood element, earth element, metal element. That can get pretty advanced. Don't worry about that right now. I do work with the elements and I think that's what really makes it magical. But if you're just, if this is new to you, don't worry about the elements right now. Just sort of focus on this and take this in. You'll see that I have, um, you know, the colors that are really good for each of the areas. There's a number that's associated with each of the areas, a shape that's associated with each of the areas and the elements. And the elements are important, but I also want you to know that you don't have to know the elements. The elements are, uh, like I have a whole course on feng shui and we really get into elements and there's, uh, we get into the elements, like I can go on for two hours on one element. So don't worry about the elements. Just, just start with this, start with this piece. And I can give you a copy of my Bagua map so that you can share it so that your peeps have it. Um, What's really important though, that I also want to highlight is for entrepreneurs and setting yourself up to be successful, we have to think about what even happens before we get to the bag on map. What happens before we even get to the front door? You know, because that, that is how energy finds, and can energy even find you? That's really important. So some of you might've been live with me for um, feng shui in five, where we did five feng shui hacks. And the very first hack I had people do that you can all do is pay attention to your door. Pay attention to like actually physically, literally cleaning the door. That is a huge hack. Clean the door, sweep the porch, put a new doormat. There's a reason that people use that, you know, like, oh, you, you treat me like a doormat or I walk all over this person like a doormat. You know, you, we want to have really high vibe energy at the door because that is where career stands and no matter where your front door falls on the main entrance point to your space, it's always going to be representative of career. So for those of you that are entrepreneurs, your front door is so important. If there's anything ever wrong with our front door, if the lock is kind of a little bit catchy, if the threshold is a little bit, you know, like shaky, I am like, have my husband on it. I correct it. Your front door is really important, especially for entrepreneurs. Um, so make sure that your front door, if you have windows in your front door, correct it. So there's so many things and hacks and remedies that we can do, but the, using the Bagua map is really, um, it's beneficial. And I actually have a free little, I have a freebie that talks about how to use this in my discovery bolt. Um, I would love to take some of, uh, yeah, Pamela's saying purging is the best. Um, I'd love to take any questions from your group, you know, anybody that has any specific questions. One of the things that I, the way that I do feng shui is as I um, developed intuitively, I really developed remote viewing. So I have this way that I like to sort of go into people's spaces and just say like, well, this is, this is where you need to work on and things like that. So if you, you know, if you're in Melissa's group and, um, you would, you're interested in kind of tuning into your space. I'm, we're, we're looking at the comments, just um, say so. And I'm happy to do that um, for, you know, for a couple people, we have about 15 minutes left here. Um, but in the meantime, let's just talk about maybe three tips that we can do 
to really dial into the space. So I already mentioned the front door and the entryway to the front door. Mm -hmm. Also just like check out, you know, like are the, like your, if you have bushes around that are leading up to the front door, like are there like twigs hanging out in the spot? Is there like things coming up in the spot and sort of like, you know, making the energy kind of stuck and, you know, cause you really want for everything to be a pathway. Remember feng shui, wind, water. So you want to imagine that wind is pushing water through your entire space. And it starts with like the very edge of where you're like the very edge of where somebody would drive in to find you. Maybe you're, maybe you have a really long driveway and your mailbox with your house numbers are way, you know, like a mile away. I mean, I'm just sort of making things up, but, and all of that coming up to your space, all of that space, it matters. So you really have to pay attention to how energy is finding you. Wind, water. If wind was pushing water towards your space, can it move smoothly? That's our goal. We want it to move smoothly. If you open up a door and you have like a corner facing the door, push. <laughs> so uh. <laughs> corners are, are Sha Chi. They create what we call poison arrows, right? So if you open your front door and there's a mirror, mirror are really, really powerful mm-hmm. facing your front door. Push. <laughs> if you have um, furniture like right in the way, push. So that, your goal is to think about it that way. The wind is pushing the water through my space. What is the water going to do? Furniture too close together? So I want you to just sort of like, that would be the first invitation to really dial it in, to really lean in and look. You know, the pandemic has brought so many blessings to our family and to my life. And one of those has been really being able to optimize my time and the way that I'm able to work with people. And so I made the decision to do most of all of my work online now. So I was able to really free up space in my office. And it made such a difference because I felt space in my schedule on my calendar, you know, but having, I used to see people in office. And so having two small chairs with the table and all, you know, with the desk and it was just like, really, it just felt cramped. So now it's open. There's no, none of that. So that's the first invitation, wind, water, The second one, and and I really want to highlight the front door. And of course, I think it goes without saying, decluttering is always a prerequisite. So we always know to declutter. Now I'm going to go back to just really quick to showing you that Bagua map once again. And I'm going to give you sort of this, um, a little, a little bit of a remedy actually to work with here. So, and it just, when I meditated this morning for what, you know, people might want to hear to come up with um, a unique remedy for this space, this is what I heard. So firstly, the shape of a triangle is um, change. It's transformation. It's fire and feng shui. It's spirit. So what I'm going to invite you to do is I want you to find the back left corner of your space today. It can be your home. It can be your office. The back right corner of a space. It could be your desk. You could do it on your desk. And then this middle area. So if you look at those areas, we're creating a triangle, career, wealth, and relationships. And this is relationships with clients, relationships with self, relationships with spirit, relationships with angels to help you to bring the right people to you. And then prosperity and wealth. I'm not just talking about money. I'm talking about not only, you know, living an abundant life, which I'm assuming a lot of the people that are here in your container, you know, really being um, entrepreneurship, successful, shining outward, you're helping people. And, you know, whenever you're, I was just having this conversation with the teacher, whenever you're helping other people, you're helping clients, other people to live a prosperous and wealthy life, you're, you're basically saying, come here, I am this, come here, let me help you to be this because I am this. So it's activating that relationship within yourself. You're saying, come here, come to me. This is who I am. This is, this is what you're wanting. Let me help you to get there. So that's what you're really activating and you're doing it in a way that is your purpose. It is your career. So you get to choose. Y'all get to choose. It doesn't have, now I really pay attention to elements. So I would say, okay, well, this is earth. This is wood. This is water. Let's just not even worry about the elements for this fun little remedy. I just want you to place something that reminds you it could be three crystals. 
It could be an image of what you're trying to attain and activate in terms of wealth, or maybe it's client attraction. I just want, it could be magazine pictures of like Oprah and like your two other favorite people. What I just, I want you to be creative. That's the invitation with this remedy. And we're going to activate it by placing, you could use these colors. You could use something pink, something purple, and something black or gray, a watercolor, but just activate something in those three areas. Not only does it create a triangle, remember that wind water. It's going to also, because the entrance point is here for your energy, it's going to like flow open, right? Because it's a triangle. So you're going to have this triangular shape that's upside down that allows the energy to expand into wealth and prosperity and relationships, partnerships. And look what's right in between your fame and reputation. So it's going to, you're setting the intention to really let that shine outward with this triangular remedy. So that was the second thing when I was meditating today for this space that came to me. And then the third thing, like I said, we all know decluttering is a prerequisite. Um, and I, if you're, if you're watching with me in the frequency key, then hi Santa, then you know that I'm always a stickler on this. So I really want you to clear out the center of your home. So everybody find the center of your home because this is like, this is the heart of the home. It's literally known as the heart of the home. And there's also, let me just share one other thing really quick here. There's also the Bagua map that I just showed you. There's the Bagua map for the body, which is really cool. Don't worry about it too much. But every aspect leads and connects to an area of your body. But look at the very center. It's the yin-yang imbalance. So when we can pay attention to the yin-yang space in our home, it's literally the heart of the home and it balances all of these other areas. Right. And then look at what else we're activating. We're activating and doing, I'm just going to show you really quick, moving forward with your legs, listening to your calling, listening to your heart's desires and processing, right? Like the stem. So that's what we're also activating and doing that little remedy and cleaning up the center. So those are going to be the three little starting tips that I'm going to share with everyone today. That's amazing. You just gave me a ton of information. I'm like, I'm totally having you come to my house. I can't wait. I really, want to go. Person. <laughs> I really, really want to go visit. And, um, you know, I tend to do that, Melissa. I do. I give way too much information and people are like, oh, I'm no, working. it's not too much. It's like, I just wrote some stuff down. I'm like, I'm going to totally, totally do this. So a question for you is, I love that idea of cleaning out that center space. That's so good. Um, do you have remedies when people have things that, like, for instance, you mentioned the front door. And since that's the beginning, right, that's where you enter. I have windows on either side of my front door and um, I love the way they look. <laughs> and it's totally open. My house is open concept. So you open up and you can see through it. But um, what do you do? Because you were, you mentioned windows and stuff like, so are there remedies that we could place like around these areas to help? There's remedies for everything. And you know, it's like, it's my teacher's worst nightmare, this whole open concept that has become so popular. Mm -hmm. He's like, ooh, which <laughs> I always like to pay credit where it's due. And I am, uh, my, my elder is um, Professor Edgar Sung in San Francisco, and he studied under uh, Professor Lin Yun, but I like to pay, give credit where credit is due. Right. Um, but there's a remedy for everything. The other thing that we really have to acknowledge is like, you loved your space. I you love, love my space. Home. Yeah. So it's not like you walk in and it's like this narrow hallway that goes to this back window and you're feeling depressed and claustrophobic. Oh, no. Yeah. We totally have to lean into that of like, what does the resonance do in your body when you walk into the space? Mm -hmm. But if you look at like, okay, wind, water, and the energy she does just like expand, what we can do is we can have focal points. So I would, you know, with, um, a client recently that I worked with, it, it sounds like it was really similar. You walked in her front door and she had a whole, her whole back wall was just glass. Like, That's and then too. <laughs> it was a swimming pool. So Ours you is have, the water or the lake or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So then it was like, okay, so what we did was we took, a, and this is where elements come in, but again, okay. don't be too overwhelmed by that. Um, so what we did was we took a few plants, like a few really lovely plants, oh, yeah. the wood energy, and I used elements and, and brought in plants as like focal points. Um, you know, my teacher would be like, get curtains, get drapes, close it off, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. 
put drapes, put beads, put it, and you just don't have to do that. You can hang a crystal in the middle somewhere if that Ooh. feels good to you. I love crystal prisms um, to expand the energy so that it stays and, and it anchors the energy in. So that could be something to do. That's, yeah. That sounds really cool. My husband's probably going to be like, mm. <laughs> but I like that idea. But you know what ends up happening? Like this is, and some of you know this, like my husband is somebody that um, he's seen how like awesome feng shui is and how much works. Now he has his own personal remedies. Ah, I love yeah. it. Got to get these yeah. guys on board. Yeah. So now once he sees how it works, he's like, oh, well, I need a career remedy. Like he, yeah. Yeah, right? <laughs> it's cool. Because it does really work. Yeah. Um, so yeah, those are a couple of things. Um, Lauren's, I see Lauren's asking a question. Any colors you suggest to place at the front door? Our home is an Airbnb and we have debated the door color. So Lauren, can you tell me your birthday if you're comfortable? This is where, you know, the feng shui practitioner comes out in me because I do do colors according to your, you. Um, so I, I don't do them according to, um, direction again like I don't really yeah but if you if you're willing to share your birthday I'd be happy to look into that um and Victoria's asking oh cool okay I'll do that and I'll answer Victoria's I'm putting in Lauren's birthday so Victoria is asking would a path leading to your door be better in wood or stone so again and Victoria I think what is your element Victoria I know you know June 88 is Lauren so Lauren, you're June 88. So you are a wood. You're a three green wood, inner child's water. So what I would say is you could actually use, because um, I would generally not advise like a green or blue or teal door, but because you're wood, it could be okay for you. The other thing that I would say, I would want to know where your door is. Is it in the center of the home? Is it to the left or to the right? Um, you could also just, because your inner child's water, I mean, you could do like a black or a deep gray. Um, yeah, so those are some some ideas for you. Uh, red tends to be a really fun, inviting color. It's auspicious in feng shui, but not everybody is, you know, it's like we have to lean into that according to the element. So let me know where your door is. So Victoria, if you're earth black star for you, I would say stone, stone. Um, Amanda, love the crystal idea. I have the same issue in my home. Open concept with a staircase. Yeah. Um, can you see anything else that I'm not seeing? No, I'm looking here. Um, I'm seeing exactly what you're seeing. Yeah, Victoria, that is mine. That's mine. Lauren says, helpful to our front door is the center. Yeah, so you know, you really might want to just go with like a true watercolor, what you're going to be like your blacks, your grays, um, especially if you're not living in it. Or you have, you know, it's Airbnb. There's so many things you could do. I feel like I should do an Airbnb course, <laughs> like just a little mini hour, you know, just for Airbnb hosts, um, because there's so many things that you can do as an Airbnb host versus like if you're actually living there. Um, Pamela saying quick question. Sure. I literally, I do have a, unfortunately I have a very hard stop today. Um, but I could take a couple questions if you, we have a couple minutes left. Any more questions here? No, I don't see any more on here. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I'll ask you a question. So you said you had your husband, um, fix the lock if it was sticking or anything like that, right? What happens if you have a door that actually requires you, like our, our house is brand new, but it requires you to push and then oh, pull open. It's like giving it a little push to pull it open. Yeah, <laughs> that's a thing. I mean, I, that's a thing. It's, I like it, but it's like. And what I would ask you is, um, you know, e either him or you, anybody that's in the house, do you, is there that push pull thing with career or push pull thing with purpose or like I want to and then I don't and then I'm like in this and then I'm not. It's like a and it could be very mild. It doesn't have to be a huge thing, but that could be significant, like that push pull. Wow, yeah. Opportunity, push pull. Now it's in my head. Thanks. <laughs> I'm like. Well, no, but it's really good because <laughs> yeah. I believe, like, I wanna, I'm actually writing this ebook. Who knows if it'll ever get done because I get distracted and do other things and build journals. But I'm writing this ebook about how our house speaks to us. And that is, it's, it, I don't look at it as like it being in your head. I look at it as like your head is yeah. 
communicating it to you. It's just, we chose way. it. I'm, I didn't chose it. My husband chose that and everything's running really smooth in our life. So I'm like, do I change anything because everything's going so good or it could be really subtle? It yeah. could be really subtle. I mean, it could be like, you know, you're sitting down for a creative project and then it's like, oh no, I can't. Okay. Or like, okay. I'm gonna go away from like it doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be these huge things. You know, it's okay, okay because remember it's only one piece of the pie. Okay. It's so only- that I love this. Thank you so much for being here today to teach us about this. I, I want to have you back because this is amazing. And you guys make sure that you can you give us the name of your group again? Yes. So I oh, I do Feng Shui Friday every Friday in the frequency key. Hello to those of you that are here. Um, yeah. And we're actually going in next week. I have making miracles for moon member. I can share the link with anyone who's interested and we're going into mind, body, spirit home. And I think it's the third day we do feng shui. And oh, we do so home. great. I oh. signed up for that. I'm excited to learn more about this and I'm going to cool. invite you to do some stuff for me personally, because I think this is really important and I'm excited about it. I'm like, Ooh, as long as there's a remedy, yeah, <laughs> as long there's as there's a remedy, I'm good. There's always a remedy and it's only here as a tool to support. Oh my gosh. You have been amazing. Thank you so much for being here with us guys. Oh my gosh. You guys, if you have any questions for her, please join her group. And I can't highly recommend her enough. She has been such an amazing gift in my life. So. Oh, likewise. (laughs) All right, guys. Thank you so much. Talk to you later. Bye, Bye. Bye.